And his department has lost three men in the line of duty in the last year. Now, St. Pete Police Chief Chuck Harmon is considering making a change to how his officers protect themselves. Our Jeff Butera shows us what he's thinking about doing. Quarter B, I got shots fired over here. That February night this year, I got an officer shot. When St. Pete officer David Crawford lost his life, Fourth Avenue South, tell him to step it up. He was not wearing a bulletproof vest. I felt more confined. Comfortability is one reason some officers don't wear the vest under their uniform, says Ron Spiller, who spent 31 years with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Heat is another. It's going to make you hotter than what it is, and, and it's plenty hot anyway. So despite the fact the FBI says officers are 14 times less likely to be killed by a gun if they're wearing a vest, and despite the fact that the National Institute of Justice says vests have saved more than 3,000 officers' lives, some officers choose not to wear them. And for the most part, they're not required to. <laughs> Only a few agencies, like Lakeland and Bradenton Police, make their officers wear them. The large county sheriff's office and big city police departments, like St. Pete, don't require it. But... St. Pete is considering a change. The biggest difference with this vest is that it's on the outside of the uniform as opposed to the inside of the uniform. It still likely won't be required, but the chief strongly considering giving their officers the option of a vest worn over their clothing. So we really need to have the edges open in order to benefit from heat escape. Officer Robert Lord says it's cool to begin with. You can unvelcro it between calls to make it even cooler, and it's more comfortable. You can grab it and adjust it if it's out of place. Major Melanie Bibbins says they polled about 500 officers, and almost all said they would wear a bulletproof vest outside their uniform, making it more likely to prevent what happened to David Crawford from happening to someone else. In St. Pete, I'm Jeff Butera, ABC Action News.